Welcome Libra to your mid-month reading for September. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you in mid-month. Uh, don't forget to check out my store. There is 25% discount going on this month. For those of you who are interested, okay. Let's see what's going on. Libra, Libra, Libra. Let me straighten to your energy of what you are thinking and feeling. The energy surrounding you. Have the hangman. Okay. So it looks like you're not going to be hanging around. You're done hanging around. You're like, nope, I'm not hanging around no more. Getting ready to take some action. Getting off. Uh, being suspended. Feeling like you're tied down. Suspended. Stalemate. Not moving. Okay. And let's see. Clarifying on the hangman. In reverse is the light. Yeah, going towards things that make you happy. <clears throat> feeling much lighter, feeling much happier, like that. Okay, straight into the present energy, the near past, and the near future for you. Third eye chakra, I can see. Look at that, not hanging around. It's like you were done hanging around. <clears throat> You're like tired of it. And you have the truth coming out with recognition and reward. So, yep. Okay. So, yeah, it feels like you had been hanging around, waiting around for a while, um, feeling like you were tied down to this pole over here, inactive, maybe not knowing exactly where to go. Now you're in this energy of it's time to get moving, it's time to get off this pole and tie myself and get going. Um, not only that, I feel like it. you feel happier than you did before, right? You feel lighter. There's that three of pentacles again. So in the near future, you have the recognition reward, and here it is coming up. It's like um, not waiting around anymore for the recognition reward. It feels like you're going to get out there and get that recognition reward. Um, I do feel like at one time you might have been in some kind of like hermit mode over here, Libra, um, feeling like somebody wasn't cooperating with you, or maybe you didn't want to cooperate with another person. Um, and now you're saying, you know what? Fine, let's cooperate. Okay. And the hermit, yeah. Yeah. Tired of being in that hermit mode. You might have even went were in hermit mode at that time um, because this person was not going to cooperate with you. You were not getting the recognition reward. Um, it looks like you know. This hermit is how you got over here, though, because you had to go, go inside to reflect, Libra, to make, you know, to kind of like make sure, kind of like have all your T's crossed and all your I's dotted. I don't know. There's just something about this person. It's kind of like maybe you were trying to get their attention and then you just kind of gave up. Um, and you were like, fine. You know what? You don't want to come towards me? Fine. A lot of fighting going on, arguing going on in the past. <clears throat> so it's like you're reflecting on all of these arguments, all these uh, this fighting, all this stuff. And it's kind of like all I wanted was recognition and reward. Um, 
But in some ways, I do also feel like you stop giving it to them as well. It almost feels like once they stopped giving it to you, you were like, you kind of shut down, you didn't move, and you were like, fine, I won't give it to you either. Three of swords, separating from the situation. Yeah, like I said, you'd had enough. I just feel this like I have enough feeling. Yeah, you're going for the new path and the things that make you happy um, over here in the light. This is how you got over here. Yeah, you're definitely moving. Definitely moving. Nine of Swords having another realization, having the resolution to understand how this person is making you feel. And you're not, like I said, you're not taking it anymore. Ace of Wands, nice. That's how you get moving. Um, going straight from the Ace of Wands, taking on this new energy, being more assertive, taking action within yourself, and putting yourself on the right path, separating yourself from this person. You guys could be separating from a Virgo itself. Um, we have a lot of swords over here as well, and pinnacles could also be another air sign or an earth sign. So, and it could also be a Pisces, right? Maybe you're separating yourself from this Pisces. Okay, so you have the third eye chakra over here. It's like you're having, look at all the resolutions and all the understanding that you have. Um, I just believe that this person was, just wanted to fight bigger, um, maybe cause drama and ignore you all in the same time, not putting you in the limelight that you wanted. No cooperation. So you have the third eye chakra over here saying, I can see, I can see exactly what's going on and this is why you're so happy and this is why you're taking the action to move forward. I'm not allowing this person to hold you back anymore. Um, yeah, so move on without them, right? Yep, exactly, the chariot, moving on without them. Moving forward for your own balance and your own self knowing exactly and seeing what you need for yourself. Um, this is, yeah, definitely going to give you some kind of balance and some healing going on as well. I just feel like they were holding you back and you knew it. Yep, truth. And now we have the truth here twice. <coughs> so Libra, you're getting balance. This is beautiful Libra energy right here because you have the equal balance of, you know, of knowing that you need to give yourself what you need and kind of like throw everything away. So this also has an equal give and take to yourself with balancing yourself out and understanding the truth. And the truth is what you can see. And pretty much what I'm seeing is this person causes me agony and pain, keeping me up at night and I can see the truth. And right now in the present, the truth is like kind of coming out right? And you see it. It's all within your intuition. It's like the more that you, that you keep moving forward, the more it's kind of, you like can look back and say, you know, yeah, you know, I don't think this was, this was equal give and take over here. Yeah. There was nothing justified in this relationship. Some of you might even be getting a divorce and you're saying, I'm done. I'm getting a divorce. Okay. Otherwise just, you know, separation as well. And truth within this love, two of cups, within this love um, relationship. If it's not love and it's just friend or family member, it could just be knowing the truth about the cooperation and, and how you want the cooperation. Um, yeah. <laughs> two of cups, knowing, you know, what's better suited for yourself and giving back to yourself. A lot of giving back to yourself with these two cards. Okay, and but it's just like the understanding. You might even be having more truth of, you know, I want a better communication within a relationship. I don't think this relationship is, you know, was not good for me because there just was not enough good communication. But like I said, I just feel like this equal give and take over here with the chariot. You need a healthy relationship. We have two things of health here telling us about healthy communication, healthy relationship, something that's more consistent within behavior, more consistent with communication, with cooperation. And you know, 
I just feel that's how that is. You, that's what you want. Feels more grounded. Wanting something more grounded. Three of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Emperance. Okay, so yeah, this community, this this relationship, you know the truth that this was just um, did not make you happy. Not thinking about the past anymore with this Emperance um, could be dealing with um, a Taurus as well. Um, otherwise, it's also telling you that this is you, Libra, taking on your Venetian power over here, saying, you know what, I'm going to be the Emperance I want to be. And I'm not going to let anybody deny me um, my authority of being this imprint. Just plain and simple. Plain and simple. That's really what that is. You're saying, I'm taking my throne back. I'm not allowing you to take, you know, control over my throne. I know I want a nurturing relationship. I'm a nurturing person. Okay? I might even be a mother or a father. And I want a happy relationship and a happy family. And I am a family person. And this is just not what is going on. Okay. And for others of you, I also kind of get this thing that there might be, if it's not a, you know, love relationship, it could be a family member or a friend. Um, and you might be expecting a baby. A new addition to the family. And you don't have time for their drama and their fighting. Um, you're moving on within your own family that you've made for yourself. And, you know, maybe it's, you know, for some of you, it might even be a puppy, right? Somebody's like, you're not getting a dog. And you're like, yes, I am. Okay. Um, but yes, now, however it is, you're going to feel more comfortable about this. And you're not going to allow anyone to take the authority and confidence away from everything that you've built. Okay? Everything that you've built. Um, I just feel like this person is just really was against you. coming out over here in the near future and the truth is the tem temperance the five of pentacles yeah the truth is they left you out in the cold um take it how it resonates and with whoever it is um you're still it feels like you're still trying to find your footing you're going on strongly but you're still trying to find your footing trying to come back from all of this negative behavior that was going on. Page of Pentacles coming out. You guys definitely could be dealing with an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. I see Virgo. I just see a lot of Virgo. Um, it almost feels like you're out in the cold. They know you're kind of out in the cold. I feel they're coming back with the page of pinnacles. They're expecting you to take them back. Whether, like I said, whether it's a friend, a family member, or a loved one, they're expecting this. Could even be a, you know, a, a sibling or a child um, with the page of pinnacles. But however it is, they're expecting you to come back to them. Even though they know, <sighs> what? It's almost like they're in denial that this is over. It's almost like it's kind of like they're in denial that you've put a stop to this. You don't want anything to do with them at this time. And then they come back in the near future and they're like, yeah, I know, Libra, you're out in the cold. You're five of pinnacles. But you know what? I expect you to take my offering. You know? I expect you to take this. Okay? Because it just feels like to them, this is the way it's supposed to be. Okay. And it's almost like they have faith, you know, with the five of pinnacles on their side, they have faith that you're going to take this pinnacle from them. 
They don't believe that this is 100% over. They want to support you. They may even be offering you money, right, as support to a child. And it's almost, you know, but I think that, you know, it's like, okay, they say this is extending a peace offering and I want to give you money to help you with the children um, for some of you. Otherwise, they're just offering you money for whatever reason, just to support you. Um, otherwise, it's more like a, for others of you, if it's not money, they're, they're expecting this to be like a peace offering. Like, look, I have the faith that we can do all this stuff together again. I expect you to expect, you know, to accept my apology and move fo uh, forward with me. Okay, so it's almost like they're they're presenting you with a gift, right? Did they bring you roses? Did they bring you a box of chocolate? Did they bring you money? Um, but it feels like they're giving you some kind of handout of something and expecting you to take them back. And apology, this is the way they kind of apologize, right? <gasps> So this truth over here is kind of more their truth because they believe that the truth is that they have faith that you will see it their way. Let's just put it that way. You're going to see it their way, whether you like it or not, right? Now that's some egomatic um, energy right there. Saying, no, Libra's going to take me back no matter what. We have close ties. Um, they can't stay mad at me forever. Um, you know, I'm going to give them this peace offering and, you know, they'll accept my apology and everything's going to be just fine. Okay. Because I don't know, but I see the temperance over here is like wasted time. They believe that you've been wasting their time. All of this foolish. It's, it feels like it's Libra. This is foolish fighting. They're saying this is wasted time. Just accept my apology and everything's going to be just fine. Quit messing around, right? It's kind of how their energy feels. Okay, and for you, it's just like, you're a waste of time. You've been wasting my time. But I do really believe this is all their energy. You know, so now you have to come to the conclusion, okay, Libra, are you going to accept them back? You know, and they're saying, hey, look, I'm going to give you the recognition and reward that you wanted so bad over here. Really? So, okay. So you cut me off. You wouldn't give me the recognition and reward in the past that I wanted. But as soon as I cut ties with you, you sure do come running back saying, hey, look, I'm recognizing you. Hey, look, I realized that I messed up and, you know, I feel regretful for this. that earth energy again Taurus Capricorn okay with the three of wands they don't want to be single they want to recognize you as a nine of Pentacles and they don't want to be single they keep looking out for you to look out on the horizon and accept their apology they're pretty much telling you look Libra I see you as the nine of Pentacles um, you know you're single and you're beautiful um, I don't want to be single. I don't like looking out on the horizons. But when I do look out, look at my ships that are going to come in, I'm waiting for you to accept my apology because I see that I'm supposed to be recognizing and rewarding you. Oh, really? But you reward them with flowers and there's that handout and that gift, right? So, yes, because they do see you as this luxurious person, this person who has their stuff together, and they really do look out and think about you and they're hoping that you're going to come back to them with the three of wands. So now it's just going to be up to you. Are you going to accept their apologies? Are you going to take them back? Queen of wands. Well, the queen of wands tells me here, well, it's, you know, think about it. Take that action. Which action are you going to take? Okay. Four of Cups, doubts and insecurities. You're going to have to dig deep, Libra, to get through the, you know, these doubts and insecurities of whether or not, you know, you want them back. I think they also have doubts and insecurities because I think that 
they have this idea that, oh man, I don't know if she's, you know, she or he's going to take me back. And you're going to have to dig deep for that one. They see you as this very loyal friend and this very loyal person. They see you as this person who really has their stuff together. And now they're feeling doubtful that you're going to ex take this extended apology, offer, gift, whatever it is, maybe all three. But with the Queen of Wands, it's just showing me you have a lot of thinking to do to whether or not you're going to do this. Yeah, two of Pentacles juggling back and forth whether or not, you know, you want this. Do you want the drama? Do you want this? Are they going to cause drama again? Is this going to work out? Two of Pentacles. So in the near future, you're going to have to figure that out. Because no matter what, they're going to keep messaging you. Keep messaging you. They're going to keep writing. They're going to keep contact with you. Keep coming at you passionately and keep offering you things. You guys could be also be dealing with a fire sign for some of you. But yeah, definitely. Yeah. Love. They, <laughs> Queen of Cups. Yeah, they want you to accept their love offering. They want to start over again with the Queen of Cups over here as they, they're saying, you know, Libra, I adore you. I love you. Um, can we start again? Can we have a reconciliation? Start all over as new lovers again or start the new, you know, a new period of love, new chapter in love. Yeah. With the King of Cups, guys, could, like I said, you guys could be dealing with water or something. Well, they could be dealing with anything. I've said everything now, so now it doesn't really much matter. All signs are here. Um, they have high hopes over here as the King of Cups that you are going to do this. So there's a little ego going on over here for you. Definitely. So if you know your partner to be a little egomatic or a little, you know, over faithful on things to do, you know, then you'll know that's, that's them, right? Otherwise, it could just be, like I said, it could just be a friend, family member. However, the love doesn't have to be, you know, too passionate love. Um, for many of you, it, it is. But they perceive you as coming back to them. They're going to let you know how much they adore you if this is a love relationship, no matter what. Um, if it's just a friendship, they're going to let you know how much they appreciate you, how much they do adore you as a loyal friend sister, however. <clears throat> this says, be the bat, see through illusion into truth. Let's put that there. Make sure you're seeing through the illusion into the truth, being the bat. Okay, and see what the angels have to say. going to need a little recovery from this. I see that over here though and over here. Okay. Communicate clearly your thoughts and actions with this person. So that way they understand where you're coming from and what you want. Okay. And listen to your intuition always. Um, so that way you can get through and that's good because here's the queen of wands over here using her intuition. Also water signs using intuition. So, yes, you're going to get deep down within your intuition to really figure out what you're going to do with this person. Okay, and that was the reading for you, Libra. Until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye. Hello, friends. I finally got my first item in the mail from my store. This is the Chakra Peaceful Mind collection. If you guys are interested in any of these items that I have, click on the link below in the description. Until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.